Hi, and it's uh, Robert Love, Love Con again. Yes, I giggled. I'm sorry, but it's time for Tank Club. I'm, I'm here with Ian from Tank Club. Hi, Ian. Always a pleasure, Rob. That's okay. And um, so, Tank Club three this year. Tank Lap three. It's it's not just tanks and Lap. It's also madness and three times. And I don't know how we're still getting away with it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how we're getting this. How we get? How are we getting this message across? Yeah. Um, so yeah. So there's just anybody left who doesn't believe in it. It is really tanks. It's really about that time. And um, and the last sort of publicity shots and and LARP books. Great work there. That have helped film it. Has been has been a godsend to get the message across that yes, we are actually mad enough to involve a 12 ton armoured APC in the field with LARPers and you know armoured armored full yeah and, it, and it's and, it, and and we're still learning we're still getting it we're still getting it as good as we can i think yeah i think i think that's my idea that continual process of learning about the players the game the setting the tanks and bring it all in tying it all together i think certainly what we learned from the first one helped us improve the experience in the second one yeah um and again we still learned from that how how the vehicles and the players interact so that it's as immersive as possible yeah. you know um, and knowing not just where you are in the world but why you're there why you're in the world yeah. what it's yeah. not three o'clock and it's my battle time it's it's we're going somewhere here because of something we're not we're, and we're human beings yeah and real that, people that's it is that it can you building of the backstory which happens during the game between the events and then the last time I noticed as well there's a big big improvement in the way that the non-combatant players are doing things I mean the med tent with a revelation oh yeah um, and we again we learned from that because we wrote something we wanted a particular type of style and feel of game yeah. but we also wanted to give the players uh, an open book as well you know yeah. you've you've got ideas you've got you've got things that you want to achieve in the game that you've found something to do we want to enable that we want we want that to happen yeah so the the medical tent became a focal point that we thought we could improve and that's sort of we did that we're not quite on the fly in event two yeah. but we certainly gave the players who were invested in that the agency to to progress that yeah. so making people come into the surgeon tents much more and stopping them sitting about doing nothing yeah yeah i think that really worked that really they have it gives people agency it gives the players something to really focus on yeah yeah and that that you know we, we all know that in LARP if there's combat involved in the LARP one one of the encounter that you don't really want is being in a surgeon's tent with somebody pouring fake blood on you um, <clears throat> but and if that's the only interaction that's just a poor experience isn't it yeah I'm not oh so you're the surgeon you've paid for a ticket and you've turned up at our event and you only get to any activity when somebody turns up with blood all over them yeah. it's not really right is it so you know we certainly had there was I can't can I talk about it I'm just trying to think yes it is common knowledge so there was a theft involved in the last surgery yeah. activity that was utterly player driven it was on the fly it was an item that had been put in play and the other side decided to steal it utterly driven by the players we didn't even start with that plot before that encounter yeah. they drove that and it involved the surgeon's tents as the, as the focal point for that and it wasn't about picking somebody up because they were covered in blood no and that's, that's it once the players can start existing in the world like that then things happen which which add to all parts of the game human beings involved in a world a reason for being there not just some nameless spot with a ton of hit points that's that's all we were after and I'm, hopefully as you've been seeing we're trying to avoid that and, yeah. and i think we're doing a reasonable job of it he no, hopes no no i think it's doing a fine job so title up is this summer july again it's the 8th 9th and 10th of july yeah uh, it's same uh, event with looking at running a second one yeah. possibly not this year or it might be very late on uh, i'm in talks with another site that i can't talk about right now um but hopefully it would be a non-vehicle event but still in that same gritty diesel punk world that we've that we've set off um still not uh, it's still not that we're not enjoying the tanks because we're loving the tanks <laughs> Um, but we felt that we could do with, we'd really like another site, we'd like the vehicles at the same time, but we, we, I don't think we're going to get another one, yeah. not without struggling. So I, I think we've got somewhere in mind that's still, still Midlands, still reasonably local, yeah. but 
could have some legs to actually bring a, a, a different variation of our art, keep that immersion, keep it, keep it real. And I think the site specifically is going to keep it in keeping with how we're running a game. It, it, it isn't just somewhere else that we have to dress up to make it feel like it's somewhere, you know, not in, yeah. but it's in our world. We're putting somewhere that will be in our world. Well, that sounds fantastic, yeah, because that's going to give you a whole other... It drives tackle up. It, it shows that the tackle up has a vibrant world. That yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and, and we want to show that. <clears throat> Certainly, our current plot line has added a little bit more of that world as well. There's now two more playable factions from our original um, six. Yeah. Uh, and that was, again, story-driven. The players had to have that agency and, and, and move the right way. And those groups have now been added in. So again, keeps your world alive, doesn't it? Keeps yeah. it moving forward. Keeps, keeps the world, the people in it and the world in it, the, the world that they're in, real yeah. and gritty. Yeah. And that was the whole point of it. Yeah. No, that really is, that's fantastic. Well, thank you, and I'm really looking forward to Tank Club 3 this yeah, year. Yeah, you lot come again and <laughs> film us being stupid in a field, and, 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 it's, and it's a pleasure. And, and next, yeah, have we, you already? Have we, didn't we get you in combat? Ooh, you, you got me, you got me, you got me emptying somebody suffering from um, oh, yes, some poisoning had, of some kind. You had the plague, didn't you? Yeah, yes. I'll get over it. <laughs> you got, look, he got, he got better. He got better. That's all I can say. I survived, it's okay. <laughs> Next time, maybe not. Yeah, <laughs> Next time, maybe not. Cool. Okay, well, thanks. Thanks, Ian. Brilliant. Thanks so much. Thanks, Rob. Okay.